and we are off. Scott is on his way over here. We are going to go out to Arkansas. The weather didn't look that great. The weather here in Cedar Key looked gorgeous. So we are going out to camp, kind of like we did for the turkey episode, and uh, going to do some saltwater fishing. Got the e-bike, got the boat, got the fishing poles, got the bows. It's going to be, of course, entertaining. Going to do some fishing, going to be camping, going to be cooking. Meeting Scott at Walmart, we are going to get some snacks and different things like that. Yeah. Yeah. Peace. Man, my plan was to go and set up camp and then meet him at Walmart. And I didn't even get up here till. Oh, ow, ow, ow. No, you're all right. <laughs> Saltwater fishing gear. The last time we went, uh, they came up to the West Point. I left all my fishing gear at the cabin because I didn't think I'd need it. And so, uh, you didn't think you needed plans fishing plans gear going to Florida? So, uh, I got to go in and get some saltwater gear. I'm going to be honest with you, I'm an angler. I'm a professional. I don't buy it. Like, you know, I can get my line, but if I'm a big, it ain't gonna happen. You know, we, we rip lips in Mississippi, so we just, we're doing it right. So I'm embarrassed. I'm embarrassed. Gear. I'm not going to just, I'm embarrassed. I'm not going to halfway do this thing. We're going to do it right. So we're going to go get some gear. And, uh, hey. How's it going, how y'all doing? All right, how y'all doing? Good, good. Uh, folks in Florida, they're so nice. Anyway, if you can't rip a lip with a Zepco 33, you ain't never, you ain't a fisherman. Yeah, I mean, I don't care if you won the Bassmaster. You got to have a Zepco 33. Man, that, that's 33. smooth, ain't it? Huh? Oh, yeah, that's, I'm telling you, I'll catch a shark with that song, man. Maybe a whale. Mm. Maybe a whale. Nine dollars and ninety-eight cents. That, really that blue one? one? <laughs> yeah. Huh. I mean, it'll take salt water for a few days. Yeah. Let's see what we got going on here. The Ozark Trail oh, way, Ozark. way, way fairer. Let me see. Uh, oh yeah. Uh. <laughs> you're, 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 you're hitting the camera. <laughs> I gotta have something heavy enough to do what I'm doing. That's good. You know what I mean? Oh, it's pen. Yeah. We good with pen. It's gotta be, They make know. aluminum, they make good stuff. Pen's good. It's gotta be heavy enough to... <laughs> <laughs> you gotta, gotta feel a rod out. If you don't feel a rod, you wasting your time. <laughs> it's gotta be heavy enough to... <laughs> That's it. All right. So we got, we got a new bubbler. That's Our bubbler much. messed up. We don't have a... We got a John boat. We don't have no uh, live well or nothing like that. So he got him some popping pop of corks. Got him some braid. Uh, I got some mono. Look. So good on that. I'm liking this right here. I'm feeling it now. Let me get the bait shopping. We we got it going. We need to get over it and, and get some. Uh, we need to go get our campsite head uh, getting going and then we'll get some scrimps and I don't know what we're doing this evening that's what's cool we don't really plan stuff we plan stuff but we we uh we plan stuff with open arms so no we, we just kind of go with it I mean it's 215 so we'll see oh I got so much so much hard bait and this joker's just grabbing you got some top water I got a few you got I, don't have, I don't have that one. I now, more. now look, if it's going to be one of those things where you see my top water in my tackle box and you're like, I wouldn't use it, but you got it, so I'm going to use it, and then you're going to make excuses well, I mean, that you can't it, catch I mean, it. You know, I don't want it to ain't that it. one. Huh? So if you like that one, it ain't that one. If you get that one or you don't get that one, I don't want it to be my excuse when I you don't catch fish. The, the top water bite on the wrist can be good. If you make it, if you make it shimmer like that, you got you got to you got to make it shimmer. Or you waste He's like, how does it look if you shimmer it? We're going to be in here for three hours with Scott. No, I'm about done. What we got? We got saltwater gear. We got creamer, oil for when we catch those fish. We're already thinking ahead, positive. We got batteries for the bubbler. My got, mind, I don't see a. Yeah, yeah, it's right there. Oh, there it is. There it is. We got box. Scott's gonna attempt to put this box on the back of his e-bike. What does that say? We went, it just made a funny noise. It made a funny noise, but that's it. Well, picked our campsite. We all ready. Scott's uh, 
Setting his drag, getting his line on his rod. Don't go too much. Edge of that spool there. I got about three sixteenths or a quarter. You want to get about a, you don't want to get more than an eight from the edge of that spool. Got the boat ready. Got the bubbler. Cooler. Big trig. Got the gas. Ready to ride. Three fifty. Get dark about eight o'clock. So. Right there. Yeah, you still got a little bit. If you get it all the way out, it's just gonna, that ought to be good right there. All right. I got to have fun of mine because I'd be fixing the big piece like this grass. You know, so I got to get it. it up. Mississippi boy about to get in this salt water and, and rip a lip. We got to have something to eat and we got to survive. I'm a survivor. You ready? Let's go. We going? We going out here to what he calls an island. It's not an island. It's about three feet by three feet. I don't call that an island. That's about what that turkey was on in the swamp. Maybe a two foot by two feet. But anyway, uh, we missed the here. women. You know why I miss the women? Because they bring all the things that we don't think about, like yeah, well, towels and like a bag that you can put I, all your stuff in instead of putting it in important. your pocket. That's not important. Not it is important. Not important. We got the water is going back down. Tide, high tide was about midday, lunch, one o'clock, something like that. So it should be I sliding out. I didn't check what low tide is tonight. It should be sliding we'll out. So we're going to go uh, check a couple of these little islands he says he knows and see if we can't catch a, a, a redfish, a trout, maybe a, a whale, a shark, um, whatever. We're going to do it. Too, uh, I went too shallow. There's a lot of wind tonight. Well, our island is like another 400 yards that way, but the wind's coming in directly towards us. This island is beautiful, really. There's a lot of places to explore. There's a lot of holes. Look at this uh, current coming in right here. I feel we're going to catch something. I'm going to go that way. I think Scott's going to hit this channel right here. But, man, I think this is going to be better than ever, really. Yeah. I mean, it's not necessary. We are forcing ourselves out there. We have a 16-foot, um, 8-horse. There's one rolling right there. 16-foot, 8-horse, Jumbo. So... We're just going to uh, just connect and just ride. I mean, not ride, but go around here. I'm just trying to fish these channels real quick. We only have about three, four hours left, so that's all I love to see. We got a small mullet, small shad. That's cut bait. Um, we weren't able to get some fresh shrimp tonight, so best thing we can do is cut bait. We're going to make it happen. Come on! Get some live bait, bro! I want to say something. See how pretty this is. Scott's out there at tip, tip top as he can go. I am not going to stress about catching fish. I want to catch fish. Don't, don't get me wrong. I want to catch fish, but this cast net, the cheap cast net from Walmart. I go in these little canals, I find fish, and I cast net. If I catch a fish with a cast net, I am happy. Let's see what we can't get on. Well, did you bring your um your tent so we can camp out there? No one did. We got camp set up. <clears throat> Rolled into town, gonna do some saltwater fishing. Reese invited me back after turkey hunting this season. Said, "Hey, you wanna come down to Florida and do some saltwater fishing?" And I was like, "Man, I rip lips for a living. That's what I, you know, it's what I do, Reese. It's what I do." So, so we're gonna get in the boat, and hopefully, 
go get on some reds, some sharks, some trouts, some flounders, maybe a whale or two. I don't know. We're going to rip everything that'll bite back and we'll plan on coming and cook them over open fire. Maybe do a little recipe, a little. These, these gnats, y'all in Florida, I'm telling you right now. Lord have mercy, man. You didn't tell me nothing. This is crazy. No see them, they call them. I see them. They on my head right now. We decided we're going to jump on the e-bikes real quick while the tide is down so far that you can't even launch a boat right here where we're at. So we're going to jump on the e-bikes. There's a few trails back here and we're going to see if we can't find some water. And this tide's on the, it's on the way up right now, rising. I think it's slack tide, like mid, middle of the day. So we're going to see if we can't go and uh, kill a little time on the e-bikes. Look at this beautiful country, man. It's just, it's just a beautiful place, Florida. Just beautiful. But we're going to try to do that. I need some shades, eh? Man, and some skin so soft. Off don't touch these gnats. I'm tell you right now, off don't work. I'm sorry, off. These gnats eat it for breakfast. Got to go wow, yeah. Oh, yeah, we in the money right now. We got we just rode out here right now, right by the camp. We got a, uh, a low tide right now, but it's on the rise. So we figured we'd run over here on the bikes. We came down this trail. This is cool as heck. So we're going cast a few times right here rip a lip or three and uh there I just came to look watch out for them oysters yeah yeah we hit some spots yesterday that I I mean, we go through five or six times, you know, in a season. And I guess this tide's extra, extra low because we went right through the middle of it and that joker was three inches. Scott and I had to get out five or six times to pull the boat across the low spots. So that sketches me out, but um, we survived. to make a run to town and get some uh get some more fuel for the boat and some live bait we're gonna try to do a mixture we're probably gonna throw some artificial lures as well but to do a little uh, live bait's hard to beat a little popping cork action but we're gonna put in right here by the camp uh we've never have you ever put in here before reese i know we uh, the last time i was here they they i mean one time it was five six years ago uh, so the tide's coming up enough where we can get in it's rolling in hard, so the fishing should be good. It's a beautiful day. Look at that beard. Yeah, and we're gonna set up, uh, do a little bit more work on camp. We're too excited to go fishing. We're gonna come back and get things set up. Hopefully cook some fish over an open campfire. It's gonna be amazing. I can't wait. This is just, I just love the outdoors. I mean, to me, coming out here saltwater fishing with my buddy Reese and, and the whole camping experience and all, to me is just as good as a, a giant, Boone and Crockett deer. I mean, obviously, I love doing that. I want to, you know, go chase them, but this is just as fun to me. Just pulled up to the old bait shop. See if we can get us some live shrimp, maybe some coca holes, some minnows, crabs, whatever. We got a trap we got. This dragon. And this place is beautiful. It's by far the coolest bait shop I've ever been to. I just thought that was funny right there. That the sign says, keep off. He ain't listening. You know what I'm saying? He, uh, he's just gonna sit right on top of me. You ain't right. You're wrong with that. Trespass. The good thing is, is we're really gonna start fishing right here by the by the boat launch in the camp so we don't have far to go this tide can kind of catch you we're just going to get out here and uh and troll this big open area around some of this uh this marsh and grass and stuff and i'm going to start out with a, a little coca hose spinner um trying to catch some reds i think he's going to put on a popping court and some live shrimp which is hard to beat but i, I really want to catch some on the artificial so we'll see how that works out for me but I, I will change if he goes to catch a fish and I'm not, so. This is a beautiful, beautiful place. Thank you, Lord. 
bait fish jumping everywhere. Yep. I mean, so we got plenty of plenty of ground to fish right here, so no need trying to go a long way. You ready, Reese? Yeah. Let's do it. First catch. making a move we're making a move we hung out there for a while and uh decided we're gonna make a run over here to this other pool so i can kind of see what it looks like every now and then the fish kind of blowing up over there so we're gonna try to see if we, we can get, get a little there, bit closer right? to the mouth of the, the main channel see if it doesn't pick up a little bit we got a lot of bait fish and stuff but we just weren't weren't catching anything so we got to figure it out it might take us a day or two to figure it out Fish the new water, uh, fish the new water, but we're gonna get it. We're gonna get it figured out. Yeah, yeah. Yeah. That looks like when if it, we got, if we anchored on that, we might be able to get out and wade that deep channel. Over there? Yeah. Yeah, we can do that. Let's hit this first since we got plenty of time. The good, the good news is, is when, but when this tide goes down, you can get stuck out here. Yeah. But what we're doing, staying right here, this this stays full of water, but it goes down there. We got a spot that we can park the boat and ride our bikes to from the camp and get right to it. And uh, we're thinking about doing that for in the morning because this morning to put a boat in, you had to wait till nine or 10 o'clock. It was like the water was too low to even to put the boat in. So we're gonna dock it there and just take the e-bikes over there to it. But right I'm liking this, I'm liking this. Yeah. yeah. I'd say just straight ahead here, and then when the anchor drops, it'll pull us back a little bit. And I'm liking this point right here a lot. Right that way. Yeah, like that. Because that wind's going to take us closer to that. Well, you're wanting to fish it, you want to... I'm wanting to fish all of this. Okay. Like, I want to get to where I can throw on both sides of this point See, right that here. Island is sweet. Looking. Sweet. Probably pigs on it. Probably so. I wouldn't have thought about bringing my boat. On my boat. I'm gonna throw this spinner in the net. See what's going on on the high land. I'm gonna need you to start catching fish, sir. I mean, you're supposed to be a Floridian guide, you know. What's up with your guide, sir? I feel good about this spot, man. We gotta get, gotta get some red thing around this spot. Caught one little tiny pup red a minute ago, that's it. We're gonna figure them out. I don't give up easily. We're trying. Bait. That's good bait. Keep him. Heck yeah, we pulled up to this island. Oh, out here. Kind of close to where it opens up into the bigger water. We got the current dropping. We got this, it's wrapping around this island pretty hard, which makes it look really, really good. So I'm gonna go get right over here in the middle of this little canal in this current see if we can get some activity going get you a crab buddy you got me a pretty oh one. that's some red fish boy yes Very sir pretty. yes sir male what you got over there skit that looks like a keeper to me Not see bad. though gotta be 18. on top of on top of the big frig Hey, quit, brother. 
16. What do you got here? Ooh, beautiful red. About that time, huh? Stuck in the mud. You know when you're in life, when you just feel stuck, you just can't go nowhere. Oh, I need my Crocs now. That's Reese Poo. We in the mud. Oh. Yeah, paddle. Well, can you reach it too? Probably. But I don't know if you ah. pull us. Oh, oysters. No, that ain't gonna happen. What you need? My Crocs now. One. We're going. We had a plan, a good plan. You gonna make it? Yeah. Oh wait, wait, wait a second. Reese got to... Hold up, dog. Hold up. I'm stuck. Huh? I'm stuck. I need that boat. You gotta push it back out. Yeah. You done left Reese hanging out to dry. Well, kind of wet still. Get a hold, Reese. There's my crook. All right, whenever you get out, just hop on the boat. I got it. I mean, I don't know if I'm gonna. Uh, hold on, hold on, hold on. <laughs> I'm about to be in push up. <laughs> oh man, I'm not gonna say I wouldn't have hey, enjoyed it. Hold on. Oh, hold on. All right, go. All right. Oh, young man. Oh, yeah. We in there. Oh, yeah. That's good right there. Good, good. Oh, man, why didn't you use you like a workhorse? Thank you, sir. Y'all looking at a man right there? What came hunting up there in West Point with me? Let me tell you something. He saw every buck on the property every day, and he never killed one with his bow. So man, you got to carry that bow, you know. So he's like every day right under me, man. They just won't stop. They chasing does, doing all this. We we weren't seeing a darn thing. And every five minutes when he's in the trees, texting us, talking about there's another big buck. Oh, here comes another big buck, giant. We ain't seen no nothing. Ain't heard a shot. Not, nothing. Kept thinking we was gonna get that text, didn't we, Reese? Yeah. You got mud on my GoPro. Whoo! Yeah. Thank you. Take it back to the camp. We're gonna shoot our bows. We got the, uh, the landowner here. He told us they got a haul. I said, we got the answer. So we brought our bows with us. We're gonna dial them in here in a little bit and see if we can't find a pig. I'm gonna get unhooked from this little trailer and uh, go get some grub, go to town, get something to eat. We didn't catch enough fish to put put our little campfire grilling, but uh, we still got some days left. We're figuring this thing out. There's my guy there, my Florida guy. He's supposed to be able to just, you know, put me right on him, but I don't know. Maybe because I didn't put him on any deer when he came to Mississippi. You ready, boy? We got the, uh, the bow loaded up. We're about to go ride a couple trails real quick before we call it a night on this, uh, this property. These people will stay in there uh, unless they want the pigs. Shot. Maybe we're gonna lose it, so hey, we got something for it, so we're gonna go do check a couple trails and see what we see and maybe uh get some joy riding e-bikes and you ready buddy? Oh you want you gonna pop you popped a wheelie? I didn't I've never tried to pop a wheelie, I didn't know we were all oh okay. <laughs> okay. That boat's so brave we don't even need a light. Here we go.